Hello and welcome to Gravity, my Gravity Simulator again. This is the oldest version, but also the most complete as far as it looks right and stuff. Here's 3D view, which is like a pseudo 3D by messing with some math on the render. So it makes everything kind of look like a disc, like viewed from the side. There's also a proper, like, just side view. And then there's the normal top-down render type. I really like the side view because it's just like you see just lines going over each other. It's it's an interesting little thing. And I seem to have broken it actually by trying to set render type to normal. Uh, top? I don't know. Well, I can just refresh the page. Anyhow, it has, you know, gas giants and planets and random generation and collisions that don't break everything and it's got this all this info everywhere and stuff, but you know, that just wasn't good enough for me, so I tried to make it better, and I broke it horribly. This is a broken horribly version. As you can see, it generates things really wrong. Um, then there's this version, which generates things pretty nice, but is very basic. It needs a lot of improvement. Also has a problem with collisions, where a collision with the sun will just send things flying. Also this mini-map on the bottom, which is really cool, but however, it is really broken also. Also, you can see, since this is full screen, if I haven't cut it out, how much crap I've got open. Uh, oh yes, then there's this version, which is broken for some reason. I don't know why, and it doesn't make any sense. Basically, there's an array that doesn't have... that doesn't exist for some reason. <laughs> 9,400 console messages are not shown. Yeah, because it's looping and failing repeatedly. But the cool thing about this one is it has this little thing over here. Which is a uh, which is called Dat GUI, which allows me to adjust settings on the fly, and uh, you know, so I can just be like, oh, you know what, this one's gonna be called cheese now, and it's actually gonna be this color, and it's gonna be uh, 205. Of course, I haven't finished this because the mass needs to automatically update when you whoa. The mass needs to automatically update when you. Okay, that's interesting. The mess needs to automatically update when you, uh... Why is this changing values when I do stuff? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh well. But yes, there's things, and they need a lot of work. Also notice this one says RGBA, right? Whereas, okay, now I can't... Wow. Oh, so if you scroll down, that breaks. I can't actually go to one of those anymore. That's that's really dumb. Um, oh, that's because the main page is being scrolled down. That's an interesting error. But yes, this one is an RGBA value. These ones are just hex code. They're actually all RGBA, but it displays hex code when there's no um, when there's no alpha value. I mean, when the alpha value is 1, it displays them as hex, which is interesting. Um, yeah, so you can view the bodies this way and edit properties and whatnot. Of course, uh, one thing I need to figure out how to do maybe is that when you change the name, it doesn't actually change the name up there, so they're kind of stuck with their original names. You can just give them names that will show up elsewhere, I guess. But yeah, that's that. And then I have this, which is a prototype thing, which I like, but it, it has some problems. I don't know. You know, I kind of like it. I kind of don't. I kind of, I don't know. I, I think this will be fun to use somewhere. It's, you know, it's an explosion generator thing that doesn't... I mean, they're, they're like, they're, they're supposed to be, you know, not realistic at all. They're just kind of... Um, oh yes, there's also this, which is a dumb game. Like, one of those, uh, like, cookie clicker or whatever. And I don't remember how it works at all. Like, I don't remember what anything does. But, um, it's something that you can do stuff with if I ever finish it and stuff. Then there's this, which this isn't the, the working... Oh, this is the broken one? Oh. Oh, here's the one that's somewhat working. Okay. Yes, a different kind of ATC. Basically, the idea with this one is that it's air traffic control game, but instead of it being an air traffic control game where you, like, draw a line where the plane goes, instead you actually give them actual orders, like speed, altitude, heading, and they follow that. And uh, this is where they head to. Right now it's by default like following an AI thing that I did trying to just see if they could land. 
and right now they all head to here. They're all given clearance to land Im immediately. They don't collide. They go here and then immediately try to land on the runway. And if we open up the log, well, nothing's showing. There's also Find the Invisible Doge, which has my annoying voice. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 doge. Wow, wow, Yeah, so, and then H to show that again. Then there's also random background noises, which you'll hear occasionally. Um, oh yes, there's some David voices, and there's some me voices. And then there's a manual save button that has no point. Excuse me, David, I'm trying to talk. And basically, you're supposed to find the invisible doge by clicking. There's one, see? And then it also has huh? these, oh look, it's a doll, you can pay me, donate stuff. If I mean, if you want to, if you like it, or just think I'm dumb or something, I don't know. And uh, yes, this is actually online, whereas these other ones are on my computer. There's also Mushrooms Please, which is like a, supposed to be a minimalistic, like, Papers Please, but it isn't, I, I, it, it, I, it got its name because I accidentally made the people look like mushrooms. They're supposed to be people, but they're, they're mushrooms. And, um, it's very shitty, and I need to work on it a lot before it's any good. There's also Thruster, which is... It just makes a noise. I need to, uh, I need to, uh, first of all... Yeah, that noise works how it's supposed to. Sort of. I need to change that. I need to change how that works. Um, and I also need to make it actually do something. The idea is to have a little spaceship that you fire around and when you fire. But yeah, these are just some projects that I've been working on and, and stuff. And thanks for watching as always and see you in space. Hold up, I said record monitor one. What the fuck?